Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, today we're going to be going in Alliance Battle Extreme with Tier 4 Moon Knight. And uh, obviously, we are going to be going over the cap because we are using my friend account, Agent Cham. Guys, uh, we have a very, very good card on this fell off. We take a quick look, guys, so you guys know what we're running with. Uh, pretty much, we have 25 person Pierce. Uh, which is actually pretty solid. And then physical attack, we have uh, a little bit over 100% physical attack. And man, it's like 106.5% plus the, the uh, physical attack proc. So that's going to be very useful in today's video, guys. So that's the cards we're using. Next, guys, going to be jumping in the team, the build, and then going to be jumping in Alliance Battle Extreme. But before I say so, guys, I just want to note something. I'm not sure yet, but I do believe that a CTP of energy actually can squire than the CTP of rage for him in Alan's Battle Extreme because um, if we take my account that I have only three blessings on my Moon Knight with a mighty CTP of energy and we only have 13% pierce on cards, we were able to get 11.25 million very, very easily. Meanwhile, with this account, full deck and a lot of blessings on Moon Knight, I was only able to get uh, 12.1 million. I know there's still over 12 millions, but still, I do believe there might be a chance that CTP of energy, mighty CTP of energy, but guarantee you that a uh, brilliant CTP of energy will be better than CTP of rage on this fella. Auto for uh, GBR guys, you you want the rage. It's so much faster. So uh, first, guys, we have the lead. We have a Sif lead. Uh, if you have an insight. You can put it on there. That will increase the damage. We don't have insight on this video. Also, that's one thing we don't have. We don't have insight here. I tried she all cleared with insight, and I was scoring uh, a little bit less, about 5% less. Maybe not even 5%, guys. Maybe 2 3% less. So uh, we went with the, the recording from Sif lead uh, with Valkyrie support, guys, obviously. And then we have Moon Knight Valkyrie. We have the artifact four star artifact gas so we get this little passive here uh eight percent increased damage delegates boss plus 0.2 percent toll instincts which is uh something great and then we have sif for our uh, what's the uniform uh support 45 percent damage done to boss plus or lead that gives 35 percent damage to physical attack character and then we have our fellow here uh, you can see the the, the 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 build is a crazy build gas rank 398 uh, we have a max cooldown, max cooldown defense, max cooldown damage, max cooldown rate, max attack speed. We have a max dodge rate because he got a rage. Uh, we have a 70,759 physical attacks. So uh, a killer build, guys. Literally a killer build. If you look at the blessings here, guys, we have four. Another three blessings. So that's seven. Another three. That's 10 blessings. Uh, we have 12 blessings on this dude. Obviously, if we have 20 blessings, we'll probably be doing 12.5 million. But still... 12 blessings, 25% pierce, more physical attack than I have. And, uh, you know, the difference discount with a rage 12.1, my account with the uh, mighty CTP of energy, uh, we actually get 11.25. So I, I'm not sure, guys. I want to know for people who actually test out both, which which a CTP actually gives you the best score in ABX, just to confirm my impression. Uh, now, if we look at the type, guys, Type 4, uh, that does not matter in ABX. Uh, Ezo set, Power Angry Hulk, Fully Awakened. Uh, so 8.5% all attack, all defense, critical rate, 7.7% attack speed, 8.1% ignore defense with a 40% the damage proc. Artifact, we have is our own artifacts, increased basic dealt. Basic damage dealt to enemies with 50% HP or higher by 15%. Then if that also applies to... Uh, the frost base to ABX. I don't have that on my Moon Knight, so just wanted to mention that. Uh, custom gear CTP of rate 30.8% critical rate, 30% dodge rate. Uh, we have uh, the max stats after that increase 0.9% basic damage per 1% dodge rate and critical rate, and ignore boss damage decrease by 60%. Then uniform mythical uniform with all bonus uniform. Personally, I only have one bonus uniform on my account, so again, uh, I mean. I have no idea if Mighty Energy is better or if Regular Energy is better than Rage, but I feel like 
it is guys let me know in the comment section again guys i really want to get you guys feedback on that so we have all bonus uniform here uh shinshi then we have crescent luke cage apocalypse Oh, and I miss Kingo here. So those are the bonus uniform we have. Now, if we talk about rotation, rotation is the same on both CTP of Energy or CTP of Rage or whatever man you're running with him with. It's the same freaking rotation. When the six skills are available, you're going to be drew, doing three. Delhi cancel four, cancel five, and then cancel six. That's rotation number one. Then uh, when there's about two seconds left on the proc, you're going to cancel six with seven. Uh, yeah, with seven. Then you can cancel seven right away with two. Daily cancel one. And that's the rotation. Then when the awakening skill is not ready, guys, you do the same exact rotation, except you don't use the six skills. And when the seven skill is not ready, well, you don't use the seven skills either. So that's pretty much the rotation, guys. It's three, Delhi cancel four, cancel five. Proc on five if you don't have the six skills. Cancel five right away into six and proc on six if you have the six skill available. When the seven skill is available, when there's two seconds left on your uh, cooldown, you hit the seven skills, cancel with two, Delhi cancel one. If the uh, seven skill is not ready, guys, it's not available. Well, when two seconds left on the proc, you cancel six or five with two daily cancel one. And that's pretty much the rotation. Now we're going to be jumping in the gameplay section so you guys can see the rotation in action. But it's very easy, very simple. By the way, guys, we use her, uh, one that is a striker, uh, only on silence this season because we need her to do the silence now if we are not in silence season it's going to be better to use a tier 4 character because look at the stats here we're going to go from 90 percent all attack here and we're going to go up to 120 percent increase all attack so that's going to be doing more damage at that point but because right now it is the silence season we need somebody that does silence and she is the only one that give us the striker damage with a silence so that's why we use, use her as a striker during the silent season. Anyway, guys, let's jump into the gameplay section. Guys, if you like uh, this kind of video, let me know in the comment section. If you prefer me to do those videos with my account, also let me know in the comment section, guys. Uh, I want you guys' feedback as always. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my amazing community. You all keep enjoying it, playing at Marvel Future Fight. You all enjoy the gameplay section, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.